Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining us today for our Tracer Plus Wireless Server uh, webinar. Uh, we're actually going to take you through a little bit of uh, setting up a batch Tracer Plus application, turning it into real time, and posting it to, live to a website. So uh, at the end of the webinar, hopefully you guys can take a, a maybe a pre-existing application you have set up and sync that data uh, real time over a wireless network back into a pre-existing system, maybe taking it from uh, from a, a batch application to a wireless application that you may maybe already have set up. Uh, my name is Howie Heckman. I'm one of the developers here at PTS. Uh, and uh, hopefully from our training here, I learned a little bit about uh, wireless server <coughs> and upgrading your pre-existing applications. So I'm actually going to jump right in. I'm going to head over to our Tracer Plus desktop application. I'm going to take a, a pre-existing uh, project that we had set up uh, and actually uploaded last night uh, for version 6. Uh, we created it in, in a uh, batch uh, environment so that it's set up so that the, uh, the form is filled out, all the data is saved and saved locally on the device so that later on you can go ahead and sync it to uh, a back-end database or maybe using Tracer Plus Connect you could sync it to an Excel spreadsheet and actually send that data through the cradle into those applications. So what we're going to do is actually take that and upgrade it so that it's a wireless application uh, so that when you fill out the form, save the data, it goes over the wireless network and gets posted directly into, and in this case here, a MySQL database that we have set up. And we have one little uh, extra change to that. We have a, uh, a website, uh, a web page, that's actually loading that data from the database, and it gets refreshed any time the uh, new data is posted. So uh, when we get to that point, I'll, I'll give you guys the, the web address, and if you want to go to that website, you'll see as I fill out the form on the handheld, you'll see the data get posted and without any um, refreshing or anything, the website will display that data as it's sent over. Okay, so I'm going to start here by, uh, I opened up Tracer Plus Desktop, and you see here's the home screen. Uh, this is version 6. Uh, so similar, uh, or a lot of people may be familiar with this search online samples here. This loads our solution center from tracerplus.com. And if you actually open up uh, the, uh, the import dialog here, it goes out to our website. It searches a couple of categories here for pre-configured applications. Um, I'm going to go ahead into this event management category, and I ha we set up a new one called Exit Polling 2010. I thought it might be interesting as the uh, elections are coming up next week. But uh, we have here, uh, it's set up for version 6. We did uh, have one set up uh, for version 5, but this one we added. See, you can see all the background colors and everything. Uh, but it, it's set up for a batch uh, environment right now where you're selecting the, uh, the candidates that you voted uh, to win. It posts them to the local database uh, on the handheld, and then uh, you can go ahead and sync it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this uh, import process here. It'll download it from our website and open it up in uh, Tracer Plus Desktop. So once it's done, just click Finish. Okay, and you can see uh, once the import's finished here, you'll have uh, the different forms or sessions that were created for this project on the left-hand side. So in this case, there's only one. It's called Exit Poll-6. And if I select that, it'll open up the, the form that was created. Okay, and you can see here's the name. Uh, if I jump down to the form designer, you can see uh, what it, the screenshot of what it looked like from the website. It now appears in Tracer Plus Desktop here. Okay, so again, this is set up for uh, a batch environment. The basic way that this session works, uh, you're really just selecting um, one out of these four Senate candidates, okay, and then it'll enter the, uh, the selection in this field here. It'll then jump to the governor uh, uh, tab where you can select a governor uh, selection from one of these four buttons. And then on the last tab, it'll jump over here, and you can either select pass or fail for the local budget. At this point, it's going to submit the record, jump back to the Senate, and now you can question the next person for their selection as well. It's a, a pretty basic setup. Uh, just has a, a limited number of fields here for polling station, the three different votes that you're uh, capturing, and then a date timestamp to uh, just mark when the, when the uh, polling was taken. Okay, so it's a pretty easy setup. Um, it's, again, in a batch environment. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is actually turn this application that we downloaded from our website into a wireless application. So what I'm going to do is go to the session settings for this particular session, the Exit Pulse 6 session, select the uh, wireless option here. Okay, and you can see here now none of this, uh, the wireless information is set out, uh, is filled out, except for the default port uh, for wireless server. But what you want to do here 
is actually just enter, or, or first enable it, but then enter the IP address of where our Tracer Plus wireless server application is running. Okay, so that's uh, basically telling this form that anytime you fill any of the information out, or maybe if you're using our lookup feature, you're pulling information, instead of looking locally, it's going to look to this IP address here for that information or post the new record to this location. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and enter an IP address of actually the current PC that I'm using uh, into the IP address field. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and give it a, a nickname uh, just so we can know who's posting the data as it's out in the field. Okay, so that's really much, uh, pretty much it on the PDA side. So you're really just configuring uh, or just turning on the wireless option and then entering the IP address of where this information is going. So uh, the next thing that we'll want to do is actually configure the Tracer Plus wireless server application so that that data that comes from the PDA is now mapped to some back-end database. So some of you may be familiar with uh, using ODBC Link or Tracer Plus Connect. It's a similar process. You're just taking the mobile form that you've created and marrying it up to some database table. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and open up uh, Tracer Plus Wireless Server 6. Okay, so I'll jump to my start menu here. Tracer Plus Wireless Server. Okay, so now uh, I opened up the application here. I, haven't, I don't have anything configured. Uh, this, this is the client manager. This is where you'll see the different PDAs that are out in the field that are connecting to the wireless server. Uh, there really is no limit here other than, uh, you know, the, really the number of licensed regis registered uh, client licenses you have out in the field. But as they're doing transa or performing transactions with the wireless server, you'll see those, those uh, appear in the list here. Okay, but in order to configure how our data is getting from our session on the on the mobile device, our exit poll six session, to some backend database table, we'll want to go to the ODBC configuration form here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay, and you'll see it, lo it loads first in the default state. Um, when you download the application and run it in trial mode, it actually pre-installs an access database that um, allows you really to on the PDA, just enter the IP address and you hit the submit button and it gets posted to this, this sample that we provide. Uh, but we're going to want to go ahead and change where, uh, where that data is getting sent. So what we're going to do is we'll select the session that we want to configure. And it, in this case, since we only have one session, which is this first session here, Exit Poll 6 in Tracer Plus Desktop, in Wireless Server, we're going to want to select that, that first session. And this is the one we're going to want to configure as to where the data is going. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a name just to match what's happening on this form out in the field. Okay, so I'll call it exit poll. And now the first thing I'm going to select is the database that I want to send this data to. So I'm going to select the, uh, from the list here. This list, uh, this database list, or this data source list, is populated with all of the ODBC data sources that are available on this system. So uh, one by default is the PTS Tracer Plus sample. That happens to be an access database that's pre-installed with wireless server. Uh, but you can also add new ones using the uh, Windows control panel so that you can add custom databases that you'd like to see in this list here. So in this case, I had set up um, an exit polling uh, MySQL database, uh, which is actually loaded up on our web server so that you guys can see the, uh, the real-time information appear on that website when, it, when it's posted. So I'm going to select that database. Okay, and once I select the database, it clears the rest of the form because those, aren't, those are from the old database. Uh, but you'll notice in the table dropdown now, it's going to populate this table dropdown with all of the available ta tables in this MySQL database that we selected. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the exit poll table that we have set up. <coughs> okay, and this is now the landing table where any information filled out on the form out in the field is now going to post its, its data when you hit the submit button. So that data is going to come, come over from the, the handheld out in the field to the wireless server application, and now the wireless server application is going to know that any session one data is going to be posted to table exit poll here. Okay, so the next, things, uh, the next thing we'll need to do is select a key field. This should just be some unique field in the database, generally an auto number type field. Uh, so I'm going to select the ID field. And then on the right-hand side, the last part that we're actually configuring is, uh, are the field mappings. Uh, this is where you're marrying up the fields on the form to the fields in the database table uh, for the exit poll here. 
So you can see from our project that we just have these five fields, and they go location, Senate, budget, governor, and date time. So we want to define where the data in those fields, after they're filled out, is going after you hit the submit button. Okay, so we're just going to marry up then field one, which happens to be the location field on the PDA or the polling station. We want to match that up with this polling station field uh, in the MySQL database table. So I'm going to actually uh, hit X here on that ID so it removes that as a mapping and it moves everything else up. So this actually should be um, set up correctly at this point. You'll see we have fields one through five married up to the, these five fields in the MySQL database table. Uh, for polling station, Senate, budget, governor, and date time. So you can see that matches what we have on the, on the PDA, location, Senate, budget, governor, and date time. Okay? So that's pretty much it in how we want to set up the mappings between the, um, the PDA to the wireless server, and then the mappings in the wireless server are now mapping that PDA session to this exit poll table.